What if they actually made the family laugh? In many real cases, the earliest dementia signs weren't forgotten names or confusion. They were odd little moments, playful behaviors, and strange jokes, funny and harmless at first, until they quietly revealed the brain was already declining. In this video, you'll discover seven eccentric moments families witnessed before the diagnosis. All stories are based on real behaviors documented by families of actual dementia patients. What you learn today could change the future of your loved ones. Let's begin. Number one, making strange animal noises. Cheryl, 71, had always been lighthearted, but two years before her Alzheimer's diagnosis, her behavior started to shift in odd ways. At a family barbecue, someone asked if she wanted more ribs. Instead of answering, Cheryl let out a loud, moo, like a cow, then laughed. Everyone chuckled, assuming she was just being playful, but it didn't stop. At the grocery store, she made bird chirps while standing in line. At church, she suddenly barked during a quiet moment, leaving others embarrassed. Her husband told her it wasn't funny anymore, but Cheryl acted as if nothing was wrong. Over the years, the odd noises were followed by memory slips, confusion about simple tasks, and repeating questions. That's when her family took her in for testing. Studies show that as dementia develops, parts of the brain that control judgment and social awareness can weaken. This loss of control may lead to playful but increasingly inappropriate behaviors like making animal sounds, odd noises, or silly gestures without realizing how unusual or uncomfortable it appears to others. For many families, what begins as a funny moment slowly reveals itself as one of the brain's first signs of deeper and more serious changes. Number two, telling embarrassing family secrets. 76-year-old James always carried himself with quiet dignity, but about a year before he was diagnosed, with frontotemporal dementia, his conversations took an odd turn. At a neighborhood dinner party, while everyone chatted casually, James suddenly blurted out that his son had once been arrested in college. The room fell silent. His wife tried to laugh it off, but James continued, sharing more personal details that no one expected him to say out loud. At first, the family brushed it off as a one-time thing, but it kept happening. At a church fundraiser, he loudly announced how much debt his daughter was in. At the pharmacy, he mentioned private health issues of his wife to complete strangers. Each time, the family grew more uncomfortable. As his memory started slipping and his attention wandered more often over time, they finally decided to seek help. Experts believe that early dementia often disrupts the brain's control over social filters and judgment. Patients may start saying things that are personal, inappropriate, or deeply embarrassing without realizing how it affects others. Even private family matters can suddenly be shared with strangers. At first, it may sound like simple honesty, but in reality, it can be one of the earliest signs that the brain is losing its ability to control behavior and recognize appropriate social boundaries. Number three, making up silly rhymes or nonsense songs. Sheila had always loved music, but her singing took a strange turn when she was 81. She started making up silly rhymes about everything she saw. While folding laundry, she sang, socks and shirts, dancing like flirts. At first, her daughter found it charming, but soon the rhymes became constant, even in public. At the grocery store, she sang, milk and bread, talking in my head. In restaurants, she'd hum bizarre little tunes about the people at nearby tables. The songs grew stranger, with words that didn't make sense. Over the next year and a half, Sheila began struggling to find the right words in normal conversation. She repeated herself often, forgot familiar names, and seemed confused by simple questions. That's when the family brought her in for evaluation and doctors confirmed Alzheimer's disease. Findings suggest that as dementia develops, changes in language processing can cause patients to use repetition, playful rhyming, 
invented words, or nonsensical phrases that don't follow normal conversation patterns. What may begin as lighthearted singing or harmless wordplay can actually signal early disruption in the brain areas responsible for language, word retrieval, and self-monitoring even before other obvious memory problems appear. It's a number that keeps rising every year. For many, the first signs were strange little moments like these that families dismissed. By the time confusion and forgetfulness appear, the brain has often been changing for years. That's why recognizing these behaviors early is crucial to make all the difference. Let's keep going. Number four, imitating accents or voices. At 67, Raymond had never been the type to do impressions, but three years before his Lewy body dementia diagnosis, his speech took a bizarre turn. In the middle of normal conversations, he would suddenly slip into strange accents. While ordering coffee, he had speak with a thick British accent and say, lovely day for a cuppa, isn't it? At a family dinner, he randomly used a cowboy voice calling his wife ma'am and tipping an imaginary hat. At first, the family laughed along, thinking he was just being silly, but it started happening more often, even in serious situations. During a doctor's appointment, he used a cartoonish high-pitched voice to answer medical questions. His wife grew concerned as the odd voices mixed with moments of confusion, trouble focusing, and visual hallucinations. That's when she finally brought him in for evaluation, and doctors confirmed what she feared. A major study revealed that as dementia develops, the brain's ability to regulate speech patterns and self-monitoring can break down. This may lead to impulsive mimicry, sudden accent shifts, exaggerated voices, or unusual vocal changes that seem out of place. While these odd voices may appear playful or attention-seeking at first, they often signal problems with cognitive control, decision-making, and how the brain processes social interaction. Number five, saying they were on a secret mission. Sandra was 74 when her daughter one day found her packing a small suitcase and humming softly for no reason. When asked where she was going, Sandra smiled and whispered, I can't say, it's classified. At first, the family thought she was just being playful, but the secret missions kept coming up. She'd claim she was being called by the agency or had a meeting with important people. At a family gathering, she even warned her grandchildren not to tell anyone about her undercover work. As time passed, these fantasy missions were mixed with real confusion. One day, Sandra called her daughter by her late cat's name, insisting that was her real name. That week, her family finally took her in for evaluation. Doctors soon diagnosed her with Alzheimer's disease at age 76, roughly two years after she began acting up. Brain scientists warn that early dementia can distort reality and spark delusional or confabulatory thinking. Patients may create elaborate stories, imagined roles, or secret missions that seem entertaining at first. But over time, these false beliefs reflect the brain's growing inability to separate fact from fiction, recognize what's real, or maintain consistent awareness of their true situation and relationships. Number six, mispronouncing words. Harshal, 79, had always enjoyed a good joke, but a year and a half before he was diagnosed with vascular dementia, his wordplay started taking a strange turn one morning, while eating breakfast, he pointed at his scrambled eggs and called them scrambibbles. His wife laughed, thinking he was just being childish on purpose. But it escalated over the next few months. Harshal called the refrigerator the freezy box, referred to coffee as brain juice, and called his neighbor's dog a floofy monster. At first, it just seemed funny and harmless. But Harshal got agitated and insisted those were the correct words when family members gently corrected him. Over time, these playful mispronunciations were accompanied by real confusion. 
When he began brushing his teeth with hand soap, the family finally called the doctor for the answer. Evidence confirms that as dementia progresses, language processing becomes increasingly impaired. Patients may invent new words, mispronounce familiar ones, or cling to made-up phrases as their brain struggles to retrieve the correct vocabulary and organize speech. What often begins as harmless wordplay can slowly reveal deeper breakdowns in language control, thought organization, and the brain's ability to maintain normal conversation patterns. Number seven, playing peekaboo or childish games. Pamela, 69, had always been the responsible one in the family, but two years before her Alzheimer's diagnosis, her behavior started to change in unexpected ways. At her grandson's birthday party, she suddenly covered her eyes with both hands and said, Where's Grandma? Peekaboo! Everyone laughed, thinking she was just being playful with him, even though he was 15 years old. And the behavior didn't stop there. At a family dinner, she covered her face again and whispered to her husband, You can't see me. She even did it once during a serious conversation at the bank, leaving the staff confused. Over time, the childish games were followed by moments when Pamela no longer recognized close friends. The family grew deeply concerned and eventually brought her in for evaluation. Cognitive research shows that dementia can erode emotional maturity, judgment, and impulse control. As the frontal lobes decline, some patients regress into childlike behaviors or simple games, often without recognizing how unusual or inappropriate these actions are for the situation. What starts as harmless playfulness may actually reflect deeper changes in brain function, emotional regulation, and the ability to adapt behavior to social context. Dementia rarely starts the way people expect. Sometimes, the earliest warning signs look like harmless fun, but behind the laughter, the brain is already changing. Recognizing these small moments early can make all the difference for someone you love. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.